Today we're making orange chocolate chip cookies. I'm CM Coleman, welcome to my home. Today we are making a little twist on the regular chocolate chip cookie. It's going to have a wonderful orange flavor to it and I think you're going to like it. It's pretty easy to make and we're not going to make them as cookies, we're going to make them as bars. Bars are so much easier than cookies. This will take no time at all. I'm starting off with two and a quarter cup of flour, and that's all purpose flour, and one teaspoon of baking soda. I'll mix that up and then set that aside. In my handy dandy mixer, I have one and a half cups of raw sugar and two cups of butter. Now you can make your own butter. Now the one thing we'll tell you if you make your own butter about this is I like to use my homemade butter in things where I'm really going to taste the butter, not things that are, the butter is going to be hidden in. So let's whip this up. Since we are using raw sugar, it's not going to get all light and fluffy and beautiful like uh, processed sugar will. Then I'm going to add a pinch of sea salt. This is the fun part. This is one tablespoon of orange vodka. Two eggs, I'm going to add one at a time. If you were to decide to do this as a cookie, you would follow the same instructions, but when we get to the part where we put it into a pan, you would drop it by the tablespoonful on a prepared cookie sheet. It's that simple. Now we are slowly going to add our flour mixture. We want to add this nice and slow on low, so that way we don't get flour all over ourselves and just mix it until it is just mixed. Once it's just mixed, I'm going to add my two cups of these are dark chocolate chips. Once everything is mixed, we're going to pull out our handy dandy pan, scrape our beater off. We are going to pour our mixture into our prepared pan and then spread it out evenly. Once our mixture is evenly spread out, we're going to bake it in the oven for about 15 to 25 minutes, depending upon your day. Stick a cake tester in the center of it. When it comes out clean, you know it's done. Once things are done, we'll let them cool slightly and we will cut them. We've gotten this out of the oven. It is so nice. It smells so good. I'm going to try a piece. You can taste the chocolate. There's a hint of orange to it. It is like cookie orange covered cookies <laughs> if that makes any sense it is nice it is creamy i didn't let it bake all the way through so it still has that nice real moist texture to it but i did make sure that it was finished I had to make sure it was done if you make this let me know you can get a hold of me on most social media at cm coleman home i'd love to see a picture of where you actually serve this and I'd like to see what it looked like. Don't forget to subscribe. Every Monday through Friday I do something different. And if you have comments, ideas, or suggestions, let me know down in the comments section because I would love to make a recipe just for you. Let me know if you, what you'd like to see me try and I will try it because it's always sort of fun. Don't forget you can then share this on social media and let other people know. And also you can check out my blog where you will see this and other recipes and you can sign up for our, my uh, weekly uh, newsletter, which will include the PDF of the recipes. So I hope I get to see you soon. And remember, running your house doesn't have to be a full-time job. Turn it into a hobby and have some fun.